Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from the far, far future. This is like, it's been a month about since I posted a video, but while I haven't been uploading, I have been recording. I just was going through some personal things that were just mentally and emotionally exhausting and I just didn't have the extra energy to also edit. And I think even if I had edited it to actually put anything out. So anyways, here's a backlog of videos from, I would guess, I think May 1st. <laughs> is the first one and it is currently May 24th um, and I'm not sure when I'm actually going to be putting this one out but please enjoy and there is like I said a month of backlogged vlogs that are coming your way. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is the weekend. It is Saturday. It is 9.27. Getting very specific this morning. Um, I'm going for a walk with my friend at 10 and I'm really regretting saying 10 because <laughs> I was the one that picked the time. I really wish I had said 11 because didn't sleep great as as is typical. So maybe there'll be a nap later. I don't know. But currently I am just like going to chug my breakfast drink because that's all I have time for. I have some clothes behind me on my chair that I'm going to put on. And um, I want to show you my embroidery project. Ignore this. I did a little laundry, which is exciting, but I still have that to do. But look, it's done. I'm pretty sure it's so good. I love it. I am obsessed. Yeah, I still might fill this part in. I don't know. We'll have to decide. But I mean, for the most part, we're good. Yay. So yeah, I'm very glad you finished that. I finished it last night, uh, just after midnight. So that's exciting. After like not working on it for many days. Because uh, my friend, like I mentioned, is going to Blentown on Monday. So hopefully he can bring it with him. So that is exciting. But I need to now get moving because well I technically have half an hour we know how my friend is for showing up early so I should probably stop talking and at least chug my breakfast drink and then like get into clothes cuz <laughs> I honestly forgot I was vlogging. <laughs> it is 10 after 2. I just got home. So like we were out for like four hours, went for a walk, went and hung out by the lake, drove around a lot, got a snack. And um, here I am. I am back home. It was nice. It was it was very nice. It was a beautiful day. Although I think it's leaning towards rain at this point. So I think we finished just in time. And um, now I maybe need to deal with <laughs> that situation over there. I think like if I fold my clothes and put them away, then I can at least put my dirty clothes in the hamper and then they'll be off the floor, which would definitely be a win. But I think I'm going to chill for a bit because alone time. <laughs> and then we'll uh, kind of figure it out from there. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. If I'm, if I'm going to be motivated, I have a list. I've started writing lists again, which is huge because I hadn't been written lists for a while, but we're writing them now, so hopefully we'll get back into being a more productive person. That's the goal. I didn't intend to, but I ended up napping. 
<laughs> I, I just woke up and I edited the vlog from Wednesday, Thursday, but um, it was definitely necessary. It's really interesting. This is So I have my aura ring right here, which tracks um, my sleeping and my activity and stuff like that. And this was the first time, it must have been a new update, where it asked me if I want to add a nap in. And adding the nap in gave me plus nine to my sleep score and plus eight to my readiness. So like, that's fantastic because that that means we're doing better than we were after this morning. So like, that's really neat to see because like, I was at, so plus eight to my readiness puts me at 71%, which is good. It's not great. And then the sleep, it put me at 73. So out of 100. So that's cool. Anyways, vlog is exporting now, which is exciting. I'm going to get changed back into some real clothes. And it's currently 6.30, so then I'm going to make myself some food. My mom's working late tonight, so her and her boyfriend are eating at like 8.30, I think. I just don't like to eat that late if I can avoid it. Like, this is kind of pushing it for me. I usually like to have eaten by 6.30, not be getting ready to cook, but that's okay. Oh yes, look, the floor, everything's looking so much better now. And it is now time to tackle the clothes that I washed yesterday. We need to fold them. I've honestly been pretty lazy. I had dinner. I just made myself grilled cheese because I wasn't like super hungry. And um, then I came up and watched a bunch of YouTube. <laughs> Oh, that's like super dusty. Uh, watched a bunch of YouTube and then I've got Psych on here and I'm gonna watch that while I fold this and then ugh, probably shower and then later tonight, if I'm ambitious, I need to put the interfacing on the back of this because like, let's see. If you look in here right now, all the thread is exposed. So if she puts anything in the bag, it could ruin things. But this one here, has the interfacing so it protects the stitching. I think this one's gonna be a bit of a pain because it has French knots and other issues, but anyways, we'll get to that hopefully later tonight, if not definitely tomorrow. Cause like I mentioned, my friend is going out on Monday and so he told me what time he'll probably be going past my house to head out um, to catch the boat. So I know when I have to have it ready for. <laughs> so if I get it done today, then tomorrow I just need to wrap it and fill out the birthday card. Is this the birthday card? Where's the birthday card? It's your birthday. I got you a card. This is the inside of it. <laughs> She'll appreciate it. Anyways, that is the plan for later, but first we gotta fold these clothes and put them away. That is the key. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it is a little bit later. Well, it's like quarter after 10. Um, everything's folded and put away, which is very exciting. I just got out of the shower and I figured, hmm, I should probably braid my hair <laughs> because it usually turns out better if I braid it. So that's what we're doing. I think I'm just gonna have a chill rest tonight. The only thing I didn't get done was the, the interfacing on the bag. Wow, my brain just couldn't figure that out, but that's okay. We are shedding like crazy. Cause the problem is I wear my hair up a lot because like, why wouldn't I? <laughs> and um, if your hair is up, your hair can't fall when it comes out. <laughs> and so it just all comes out at once. Does anybody else have that problem? Anyways, I think like most of the people that follow me are men, so they probably don't have that problem. But anyways, we're gonna get the hair braided, which is getting like excessively long, <laughs> if you notice. Um, I feel like maybe I'm getting better at braiding, but also like I said, like there's just so much hair. I haven't figured out how to get the braid to go more down the center. It always has to go off to the side because I, I think it's because I can't lift my arms up that high for that long. <laughs> that could be part of it. Or maybe there's a technique that I just haven't figured out yet, which is likely the case. Anyways, I'm gonna braid my hair and then um, I think start to get ready for bed. I mean, at this point I'm mostly ready for bed, I would say. Do I have it all? Do I have it all? You think we're good? All right, down we go and then to do the other side. Alrighty, and with that, we have braids. I still need to like figure out 
consistency up here because this side usually looks pretty good this one's always a little bit weird but we have braids and that's what matters and I think what is today today's Saturday yeah I think I know I have to work early tomorrow so I think I'm gonna call it a night here just get some things a little bit organized there and um go so I will see you in the morning <laughs> good night I feel like a broken record most of the time but in a shocking turn of events I am tired <laughs> It is early. It is so early. It is 6.34 a.m. and I am at the theater at this time because of rides. Like, it doesn't make sense <laughs> if my mom works at seven for me to come into work for eight. It just doesn't make sense. So I am here <laughs> and I'm tired. I'm chilling on the floor because why not? And um, there is a strong likelihood of a nap when I get home. And like the thing that sucks too is last night was the first night in a very long time where I wasn't too hot. I was so comfortable and like everything was perfect and I just couldn't get to sleep. And I don't think it was because of my nap because I only napped for like an hour and a bit yesterday. Unlike most days where I put in a solid three hours. And I just, I just couldn't get to sleep and I'm sad and I wish I could have slept longer, but you know. It is what it is. So, I, the one thing that I'm super excited about for Blind Channel is getting on that routine of either starting at seven or starting at eight, not sure what time the store is gonna open this year because like typical years, I think it was it seven? No, I think typical years it was eight, but like last year it was nine. I think that's what it was. Yeah, and then, yeah. So once I get on a routine, it'll be fantastic. So. Yeah, one can hope. <laughs> I mean, one can hope that we get there before two months has passed, but you know, it is what it is. Besides napping later, I need to invoice and I need to get that card filled out like I showed yesterday, the one, the, the, the one I showed yesterday, not like I showed yesterday, I mean kind of, um, and then get the interfacing on the bag. Those are like the, the two main things. Oh, and then wrap it. Okay, the three, four main things that I need to do today. That, that's if we hit, if we check those all off, we're good. If I get laundry done, like all my lights and stuff, we're just on top of the world. Anyways, I'm gonna have my breakfast drink and I'm going to chill for like a solid 20 minutes because there's no point starting before seven because I'm not gonna get picked up until just after 11 anyways. So why start early and then sit around later when I can slowly wake up now? Alrighty, well, it has been some time. I'm pretty much off. I'm just doing my time sheet because that's, that's what we gotta do at the end of the day. I know the lighting is like, dead. <laughs> not great is what I'm saying. Anyways, I am surprised how well my day went considering how tired I was. Like I honestly thought um, that I can't do two things at once. Two hours. Um, I honestly thought it was going to be a glacial pace and like painful to even get what I needed to get done, but I actually got some extra stuff done which I'm really happy about because I was like, I don't wanna do it. But I was like, you know what? Get it done. And I'm, I'm feeling jazzed. I'm feeling pretty awake right now. Like, like I got the day, but well, I say that I can feel the tinges of tiredness just creeping along the edges. So we will see what happens when we get home. I still do weird. <laughs> it was like the ticket scanner. It just decided to beep. Anyways. I still do have a fair amount of things that I would like to accomplish today, um, namely finishing the bag and wrapping the bag. Like that is like peak, just slightly afterwards by invoicing, which hopefully isn't too bad today. I don't think it should be. I don't think there was anything that carried on through the full of the week. Like there has been for the last couple weeks. I think it's just like Friday, Saturday, Sunday to deal with. So that is exciting. Hopefully like a 15 minute endeavor. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, like maybe some cleaning. I know I keep looking at all the stuff I own and going, oh, I should probably own less stuff. <laughs> and then I look at all the fabric I have and I go, I should probably make some stuff. And so, yeah, it's just, yeah. But we will see where the day takes us. Um, I just, because it's now May, I'm starting to think about blind channel and what I need for blind channel. So anything that I need to order online, I need to get on that right now. Um, 
So these are things that are just like constantly going through my head. Do I have the right shoes that I need? Do I have all the um, HABA products that I need? Do I have this? Do I have that? Like I like to try to get the majority of my stuff for Blind Channel acquired, save the food, by like the end of May. I have my date. I don't know if I mentioned it. I have my tentative date. It is June 25th. And um, it, it, it will likely change. I feel like it's going to be the 24th because every year I've told a day and I come in the day before. So we started at the 27th and now we're just working our way back. Or was it the 28th? I don't know. Anyways, so as long as I have everything good for like the beginning of June, the food shop takes like a day. Like, you know, it's fine. So... I've ordered some clothes. I ordered a lanyard for my keys because I want like, if I wear cute clothes that don't have pockets in them, I don't have anywhere to put my keys. So I've got a lanyard for those days. <laughs> so exciting, I know. Um, and I need to order, I think a new pair of runners because I, I thought these ones might be okay, but I can see that they're starting to get quite a bit of wear on them. So I should probably get a new pair just for the safety of my feet. So they'll feel great. And I want to order a pair of rubber boots. So like, <laughs> I'm just rambling. I'm just thinking out loud. Like these are all the things that I'm like, I need this, I need that, I need this. I bought shampoo bars from Lush recently. So I'm good for that. I'm almost out of my body wash that I've had for like so long. And I'm trying to decide if I want to repurchase that body wash because I know and love it or if I want to switch to bar soap. Because whenever I'm like in the shower, I'm like, huh, like I have a shampoo bar. Why couldn't I have a like a, a body wash bar? And I'm like, it's called soap, you idiot. <laughs> and so I'm trying to decide if I want to switch to a soap because like, I love this one. I have no reactions to it. Like it's all good, but it's plastic. But then again, a body wash bottle like will last me like two years because I use very little of it and it lathers quite well. So I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just, I've been rambling for a very long time. I just, these are just the things that go through my head. And good news, I, I know I'm good for contacts. So like, I don't need to worry about that. It's gonna be really bright. Um, so I don't need to worry about contacts and my brain just stopped. So anyways, anyways, basically I'm just doing a constant like panic and freak out about the things that I need to do and the things I need to accomplish. And I really don't need to be panicking and freaking out just yet because I still have like two months. <laughs> so maybe I'll go home and like sew some things. I decided after making the, um, the Hobbit house bag for my friend, I, and then making for my other friend who's out there uh, the lighthouse bag. I'm like, I, I want a bag to match. So I think I'm going to make myself a bag before I go out. I just haven't decided. I'm thinking frog, thinking some sort of frog, like maybe a frog like hiding underneath of a toadstool away from the rain or something. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I've been talking for far too long. <laughs> So I'm going to go now. I'm going to pack up my stuff real quickly here and then I'm going to get out here and head home and we will see what we can accomplish. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The one great thing about going to work so early and getting off so early is that like it's 1230. I've had lunch and I've just been chilling and um, bed's made. I have some fabric laid out. So I'm contemplating sewing some bags. This pattern I really love. It's upside down here, but I love these whales and I think it just makes such a cute bag. I've made this bag pattern before, but I've never made it with cotton on the outside, so it'll be interesting. So I'm thinking that one with this is the lining. This apparently goes in between. I don't remember this step, but my pattern said to cut two um, inners of fleece, so that's going to happen. And then I have quite a bit more here that I could make a bag out of. Like, that looks really cool. <laughs> and that, like, I want to make some bags. Not necessarily for me to use. I was looking at patterns or ideas. I'm still leaning towards a frog. Oh, I should probably fix that too. Um, but I think I might cut this out and see how it goes. Like, part of me is, like, maybe cut out a fabric that you don't love as much and that you could probably get more of. But the other part of me is like, but well, this is really cool, so I wanna do it. So I need to find my pattern, which I think, if I recall correctly, is underneath my bed here. 
Let's see. I should probably also finish my pajamas at some point if we're being honest. <laughs> okay, I think it might be in here, which is where my patterns are for other things. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay then. Not there. Then I'm guessing it must be... He Aha. There it is. <laughs> it's like... So falling apart. Because I made so many of these. Anyways. We'll lay this out and do some cutting and um... Hope for the best! I already know better 24K got nothing on me Make you want it forever Try to play a game but you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, yeah But I already know better I'm a go-getter and I got me I'm good I'm head over shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong, uh. Go ahead, tell me all the ways you miss it How you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out I, I gave it so much honestly the Mistakes have been made <laughs> It's been like a decade since I've sewn this bag pattern And I forgot about like the very important part I missed cutting this thread The very important part where once you put it all together you gotta leave a hole so you can turn it inside out oh, i don't think that hole's gonna be big enough uh, that's what she said um he said anyways i also <laughs> forgot to sew the pocket in so i had to do that after i'd sewed this together it's a awkward shaped pocket because i couldn't find the pattern for it but uh, i think i'm gonna have to make that opening a little bigger because like even just yeah no there's no way i can get it through with the fleece okay so that's where we're at. The next stage is, I hate that every time I sew this happens. Anyways, the next stage is going to be to attach these guys. So I turned them. Oh my goodness, could you focus? It's really hard to do this with like half a hand. Yeah, so I turned them and I stitched them along the side. So then I will attach them to the inside of the bag. And then I will put the lining on the outside sew it along the top and then theoretically flip it inside out and it'll be a bag. So we will see how that goes. Oh my goodness, everything's a mess. This I believe is dried. It's, this is like the biggest piece of interfacing I've had to put on a back of a bag. And I've learned that you can't start in the middle. You gotta start on the sides and work your way over. So it took a while, but we got there. But it is, this, this is now the thing. So yeah, I think I gotta, make that opening a little bit bigger, and then um, we can go from there. Ugh. It also got really hot in my room all of a sudden. It's like 27 degrees. Not a fan of that. Anyways, watching The Handmaid's Tale, which is a super messed up show, and um, sewing. I was embroidering the other day when I was watching. I'm like, this is really weird. This is really weird. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, I'm going to go for now, keep working on this, and hopefully the next time I pick up the camera, I will have a bag that looks like a bag fingers crossed. Mistakes were made along the way, but we have a bag. It looks like a bag. It acts like a bag. It's definitely a bag. It, it's so cute. I love this fabric. <sighs> I was thinking about making it and like selling it, but now we kind of want it. It's even got pocket on the inside. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I also have the card for my friend, which I it's got a Ravenclaw wax stamp on. I didn't use enough wax. Oh my god, it will not focus. Oh my god. You know, you're just gonna have to trust me that that's what it is. <laughs> and I'm gonna wrap this up in a bit. But first, I'm gonna take care of invoicing. There isn't much to do. I did check. And then we'll kind of go from there and see where the rest of the day takes me. Maybe, maybe I'll be creative again. I don't know. Alrighty, so it is definitely the end of the night. I feel like I'm starting, I feel like I'm ending the day leaning against a wall like I started the day. I'm, I think that was today. I am honestly so shocked that I did not nap today. I'm very proud of that because I only got like three and a half hours of sleep, but I am shocked. But I had a very, 
accomplished day. I feel like it could have been more accomplished, but in all fairness, I made a bag. I started embroidering another one, which I'll, I'll show you tomorrow probably, and got a present wrapped. Very exciting. But I forgot this battery is dying, and I should go to sleep too because it's like 20 to 1 and I work tomorrow morning. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along, and I will see you in the next vlog. Good night. <laughs>